best known as two-thirds of the group Crosby, Stills & Nash, or if you prefer, half of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. Their careers also encompass their work as a duo, thriving solo careers, and classic early performances with the Birds and the Hollies. Along with songs of love lost and found, they're known for such powerful political messages as Crosby's Long Time Coming and Nash's Military Madness, which they performed at Zuccotti Park today, and which we referenced at the top of the program. Their latest release is a DVD of Crosby, Nash in Concert, their 2011 tour, and it is my great pleasure to welcome musicians and activists David Crosby and Graham Nash to Countdown. Gentlemen, Hi. pleasure to have you here. How are you? Uh, very well, and I'm honored that you're here. I can't tell you how honored we are. <coughs> we follow you completely and completely agree with most of the things that you say. Well, I thank you kindly for that. Uh, tell, tell me about Occupy Wall Street. What did you see down there? What did you take away from it, Graham? We saw the voice of the people. We saw them. We saw the same energy that was in Selma in Alabama. We saw the same energy in the Vietnam War and, the, in the, you know, the ladies' struggles and the African-American struggles for the vote. We saw that same energy. It's still there. Did you, did you draw inspiration from it? Was it, was it that sort of uh, energizing thing that we, that we all look for in, in events of this nature? Truthfully, it made me feel fantastic, man. It's, I mean, it's part of our job. Part of our job is just to, to make you feel good yeah. and make you boogie. But uh, part of our job is to be uh, the town crier, mm -hmm. the troubadour. And it always has been. We learned it from people like Pete Seeger and Woody Guthrie, and it's been something serious for us the whole time. And to go down there and start singing without any amps, without That's any right. band, with nothing, a little nervous making, and they started singing with us. Yeah. And they knew the songs, and they knew why we were singing them. And, you know, I had been down there before just to kind of cruise it and talk to people, ask them what they wanted, mm -hmm. what they needed. And they said it would lift our spirits a lot if you did come down. And truthfully, I think that's what we did. And I felt. I felt fantastic, man. We I, just felt like I, was, a, um, I, I, I felt like I was doing my job. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we just finished a seven-week tour of Europe, yeah. and we talked about uh, Occupy Wall Street every single night, and we thought, are these people going to understand, first of all, there's a language barrier, perhaps, but every time that we mentioned them, they cheered. Mm. I swear to God, they cheered. Well, they we haven't... They're having demonstrations all over right, Europe, of big ones, bigger than the, than the park, yeah. about the park. Yeah. Uh, they, they, to them, it's as if they were watching America wake up. To us, it's, you know how a crystal starts to form in a solution mm -hmm. when saturation point happens? Right. I think we're reaching the saturation the edges point. edges and then in a different pattern each time, but creating something out of I, what was seemingly nothing there. Yeah. I, think, I think we're reaching the saturation point. And there's a magical thing also in that they don't have a single figure that can be pointed at mm -hmm. and said, Oh, this, blamed. this guy is this guy's the troublemaker right. you know and uh, it's that baffles them. the the, the people <laughs> we're up against the one percent yes. of the people who have yep. control of most of the money in the climate, to buy that's yeah, right yeah. and it, it, the people who bought the government uh, this is this is like an itch they can't scratch they can't bomb it they can't buy it they can't bull bull yeah you know, I know what you're saying. yes and I uh, it, it's it's really pretty exciting. But do you have a sense also, uh, there's been some criticism that there are no set demands and it's, it's, it's still vague. Is that a part and parcel with the idea that there is not one leader of the group or not even a couple of leaders, that also this is at the, hey, it's wrong stage. We'll figure out how to fix it. First, we have to get people to acknowledge it's wrong. Exactly. I think and that's, that's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. They I know think. it's unequal. They know that that it that it's wrong. They know the system is 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 set against them. They know that it's uh, a system that just favors the rich people. Mm -hmm. They know this, and they're standing up and they're laying their bodies on the line, literally, to do it. You've been down there. You know what's mm -hmm. going on. They're uh, they're, you know, they've felt for a long time that their votes didn't count, that the elections get get rigged or get bought. Mm -hmm our bot that the guy with the biggest uh, you know tv budget gets the keys to the kingdom and they know that's not what the constitution meant and it's crystallizing down there it's it, it's it was a fabulous it was time a, it was really, it really exciting was. all right so you've been there before that was your first time graham it was my first time yes there are other ones obviously throughout the country if you have the opportunity to, to, to go somewhere else would you go absolutely mm. in a second yeah yeah 
Um, we, we, we even took food, we took hand warmers, we took lots of stuff down there too. We just didn't take ourselves. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that, that was great is that you sensed a unity against the powers that be. Mm -hmm. Finally, the people are trying to speak out and they have obviously the constitutional right to do so. If the, uh, if the major problem of the last 20, 30 years, 35 years might have just been sort of generalized apathy, especially among the people who have the energy to protest as the rest of us get increasingly out of that demographic group and right. be energized, right. do, do you have a sense that, there, that it's larger than the people that you saw today? Yes. Way. Yeah. It's yeah. You see, this movement does not need that park. The it's park? way bigger than the park. The park is just a spark. That, that's just the beginning. You know, you're a poet. That's Did you nice. know that? <laughs> this is going to go on and keep getting bigger because we've reached a point where a whole lot of the country doesn't feel represented. Mm -hmm. Now, I have, I have very liberal friends and very conservative friends. None of them feel like somebody in Washington is there for them. Right. Everybody I know on both sides of the fence feels like the government's been bought and they, ha they don't have a say. You know, and, and that's a that's that's a, a really critical point. All right, you, you've seen so many other protest movements and contributing contributed to them over the years. And the idea that we're at about fifty days into this, is that does that give you enough of an idea to assess where this stands and where this might go? How this uh, ranks is a terrible term to use in terms of other protest movements, but where it stands, say development uh, development no, I can't even say developmentally correctly. You know what I'm saying. I asked them today. Yeah. And they said, Oh, this we we got years ahead of us. They said we're in this for the long haul. I I said, How long do you think it'll be until they try to shove you out of the park? They said, Soon. Mm -hmm. And they said, It doesn't matter. You know, there, the, it's not about the park. That's just where the the focal point was. We, when we left, we were saying, "Stay here, stay here, stay here." Uh, but the truth is, this is way bigger than that. This is a whole country waking up and saying, Geez, "We were supposed to have a vote. We, we were supposed to have a say. We what were supposed to have to a country. Yeah, we were supposed to have a deal where if you worked hard and you could, you know, like." make anything you wanted out of yourself. Yeah. Uh, we were supposed to be able to believe any way we wanted. Now we got bread and circuses and we got, you know... And we've got a system that, you know, just wants you to lie down and be sheep. Shut up, let us rob you, buy another pair of sneakers and a soft drink and shut up. Uh-uh. No that, one's going to shut up anymore. I think this movement is going to get larger and larger and larger. Yeah, they really are not going to go for that anymore. Yeah. All right, so what do you think happens next? What's the next... Um, evolutionary point. Well, I, 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 what I think is that uh, you're going to see people starting to change things, like uh, the banks that don't, that, that, that didn't want to charge them anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they have awakened a monster here. And quite frankly, Keith, I'm totally amazed that the powers that be let it get this far. Yeah. And, and made every uh, they, bad decision they could in terms absolutely. of the cops and, and, and providing they, all those moments of, of conflict and anguish and everything They else. completely underestimated yeah. it. But like I said, it's, it, it's not something that they've ever dealt with before. They don't have a, a, a focal point that they can vilify or try to get something on. They don't have, they don't understand. They do. I, I think it's incredibly ironic that Bouazizi, right, from Tunisia, mm -hmm. who immolated himself, was so outraged at the system, he set fire and immolated himself and sparked a fire that is worldwide. It's very ironic. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the park is the spark. We can, I think somebody better write that down if you don't. Uh, on, on the subject of that, can you indulge us and, and give us something quickly, a quick, a quick song that relates to this? That, sure, yeah, can we you? can. And this okay. is what we did every single concert and was responded to with unbelievable fervor. And it's a song that David wrote called What Are Their Names? You want to sing it? Mm, want to write about there? Sure. No, that's probably too bad. Who are the men who really run this land? And why do they run it with such a thoughtless hand? What are their names? And on what streets do they live? I'd like to ride right over this afternoon and give there may peace of my mind about peace for mankind 
Peace is not an awful lot to ask. <laughs> David Crosby and Graham Nash, uh, as I said, an honor to have you here. And uh, it's uh, all a pleasure, well, Keith. Really, you, you, we're fans. Well. Same here, so it's a big. We'll take a big group hug picture right after we sign Thank this you. one off. We'll uh, send one to Rumsfeld, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll know who you guys are. He won't know who I am. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And if you think that was a great performance, where do you see Herman Cain from this afternoon next? <laughs>